Well, new tonight, Whitehall police only give ABC6 what they say is a very rare dash cam video coming out of a recent police chase. abc 6 is Lisa Rontala joining us now with why police say you clearly see how dangerous their criminals were. Lisa? Police say they received several calls about a home invasion in Whitehall and guns were involved. Due to the threats, they needed to step up their game, and they say in the video, you clearly see what was tossed out of the suspect's window before they stopped for police. From the first call. Yes, sir, I was just standing outside, and I see these dudes kicking in my dude's door right now. Police knew they were going to a dangerous situation. They've entered a home in the middle of the night, armed, kicking open doors while people were there. While these were the pictures police took inside that busted home on Beach Tree that included bags of marijuana and the homeowner's own rifle and gun, this was the video they captured from their dashboard while chasing after the suspects. They're violent criminals at this point in time. We know that, and we know they're armed. Just assuming the three in the car were armed, officers made several moves to get them off the street. We were shutting down roads. We were setting up stop sticks. But nothing seemed to work, as the suspects even went around cruisers meant to stop them. Now police believe Alicia Pass, Tyrone Ackerman, and Donald Winfrey were only buying time at 40 miles per hour since this is what police saw next. We see the guns being thrown out of the cars. We see them, but when you go back and review video, you don't see it. Police see two guns thrown from the suspect's car just before they finally came to a stop. Police believe they tossed the guns so they could deny they even had them, but the video speaks for itself. And after police captured all the weapons involved, they say it's a great end for the entire community. These guns aren't going to fall in the hands of children. These guys aren't going to hurt children with those guns. So, yeah, the officers did a really good job. All three suspects in the car went before a judge today. Bonds were set at over $75,000 each. Reporting live in the newsroom, Lisa Rontla, ABC6 News.